So before we start the video today, I just want to try and make it clear what these vlogs are trying to achieve, what they're about. They're not intended to be um, educational videos, showing off my skills as a pen tester. It's more of a day-to-day -day look into my life as a person and also bring it into that parts of my job and what I'm doing. Like I said, I will try and show as much as I can of my job, but with my NDA in place, it's hard to it's hard to show you some of the things for security reasons. But I am gonna try and speak to my team lead, see what is possible for me to show. I might be able to show you a bit more than what I have. Um, but I've literally just started doing these vlogs and hopefully they will evolve and it will take a direction. So with that being said, and by the way, ignore the bedroom, it's work in progress, as is the whole house. But anyway, with that being said, let's get into it. and welcome back to another vlog another day in the life of a pen tester today we're working from home and it is a beautiful day just done the school run set the laptop up downstairs got my coffee Let's do some work but before we do that we've got to go to the shop going in this beast today oh yeah Open. Open. Today I'm still looking at the CVE table, trying to find out what vulnerabilities certain versions of things have, and I'm struggling to find DSLAM versions on the internet. Might have to look harder. I might have to call in some help. I don't know, we'll see. We'll go to the shop, come back, and then see what we can find. Moments later. So it's been suggested that I talk about how and why I got into pen testing. So, we'll quick nip pop into the shop, and then we'll talk about it. See you in a minute. So, how and why did I get into pen testing? Um, I suppose it all starts with me just being into IT in general for years. Um, started off fixing phones, laptops, computers, hardware, software kind of things, getting rid of viruses and general malware of people's computers years and years and years ago and then I thought I'd be quite interested in hacking ethical hacking so I set up my own lab virtual lab with Kali a few Windows machines and then just taught myself really from YouTube videos the likes of Hack5 Hackersploit people like that I didn't try to get into the job, any job, back then. I just did it myself because I didn't feel like I was good enough to get a job. I had multiple jobs, butcher, barman, mechanic. I ended up joining the military. Had a job in the military that had nothing to do with IT, even though I did get IT qualifications from it. It was a strange one. And then, while I was in the military, I ended up booking myself on a multitude of courses, CompTIA Security Plus being one of them, um, a 
and when I decided I was coming out of the army, I decided I want to get into cybersecurity. So I put a CV together. It was a targeted CV at cybersecurity and put it out there, put it on all the job sites in the UK, Reed, Monster, I can't think of any others, but there's loads out there. Um, made a LinkedIn account, put on there that I was willing to do unpaid work. That didn't really come of anything. And then one day I got a phone call from a recruiter saying that there was a job in Birmingham, which is quite close to me. I was like, yes, awesome. Got called in for an interview, answer a few questions, do a practical lab, and ended up got, getting the job with no actual formal qualifications in cybersecurity, just my personal knowledge and my personal experience that I've done at home. They said they were quite impressed. Gave me the opportunity and I'm really grateful for that because it's not very often that places like that, you normally need like five years experience in cybersecurity and it's just ridiculous. How are you gonna get experience without actually having a job to get experience? You're not. So really grateful that I was given the opportunity Completed my security plus, passed it by a hair's breath. And then um, my next course after that was CEH, which I don't know, I was a bit apprehensive about. I did the online, well, did the course, did the, all the courseware, did a, an interactive classroom webinar thing. Um, I've just got to book my exam, I'm going to do my exam. But they want me to go all the way down to Harlow near London just to do with the exam so I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen there but I'm also I'm now studying Pentest Plus oh backtracking doing the security plus um, if anyone's doing any of the comp tier um, exams I highly recommend Professor Messer on YouTube he really helped me with the security plus he does like study groups and um, really good videos detailing kind of what's involved in the exams and things um, so yeah that's kind of how I got into pen testing why because I like it it's cool isn't it <laughs> cool it's good money eventually obviously starting out you're gonna have to expect to be lower than other people but you know you, you do it for a good few years I haven't done it for a good few years I've only been doing it six months well in a job been doing it for years personally so yeah if you have any other questions or want to know anything else comment down below let's go home do some work try and find out these version numbers for the D slams and I've got a couple of other things I need to do as well so I'm not going to be able to show you anything again security reasons might put a nice little montage in here just wanted to add I realized that in the why I got into pen testing I focused on money wages <laughs> but it's not all about the money it's a bonus I suppose why I got into pen testing because I have a passion for IT I like breaking things I've got I'm good at logical thinking to find and break things that people think are really secure if you can find a hole in that and then present it to them 
for them to fix it it gives you that sense of satisfaction that you're helping a company client fix their environment so you get that that job satisfaction from it and every day is different i'm not in the office all the time hardly really we're always traveling to different client sites one minute i'm in cornwall the next minute i'm in scotland and that's the driving is pain but you don't always have to drive scotland we get the chance the opportunity to fly up there but i think for me i'd rather just drive but anyway i digress <clears throat> I, that's why i got into cyber security into pen testing i'm good at breaking things I'm a logical thinker and it's the job satisfaction and the passion for IT and computers. I really enjoy with the company that I work for as well. <clears throat> team's really great, hopefully we'll get to meet them one day. I'll get to show you and introduce you to everyone in the team. I think, I don't know, I think my, ex, not my expectation, but my respect for the company is probably higher than some others because they gave me the opportunity from nothing not having any formal qualifications to be able to get into the job and now i've been with the company since april i already had my sc clearance from the military carried that over and then went and did my CSTM, which is Cyber Scheme Team Member, and the SC clearance and that together <clears throat> get sent off to the National Cyber Security Center, NCSC, and they ultimately award check status, which entitles me to do high profile government testing, basically. So yeah, apart, aside from the money, that's also why I got into pen testing. So the day is almost done. I'm still stumped on the DSLAM versions. So it's Friday. This video will go out tonight. So if there's anyone out there that has an idea of how to find goddamn DSLAM versions, let me know. Because I can't find them for the life of me. On a school run, pick my lad up, go back and finish off a few bits and bobs, I think. <clears throat> Edit this video, upload it, and then it's the weekend. What am I doing at the weekend? I don't know what I'm doing at the weekend. Not a lot. Chilling out. So I probably won't be making any videos over the weekend. Might see if I can get a tutorial video in. Um, let me know in the comments what you want to see tutorial wise. I think I've got a list of things that I could do. Maybe Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hacking. Got a program, got a program which we use a work called Nipper Studio. So essentially you get the the config file from switches and routers and you load the config file into Nipper and it'll bring you out a nice HTML page with CVEs, vulnerabilities and whatnot for that version. Could maybe do a tutorial on that. I don't know how many people would be interested in seeing that though. Don't know how many people are interested in even watching these videos. But I want to do them, so I'm doing them. I could show you my .dit extractor. I coded it in Bash. It's on, one of the versions is on GitHub. I have got an updated version, which now includes Hashcat, um, to crack the hashes extracted with the extractor. Um, but I'm also doing it, converting it from Bash into Python. So I could show you that over the weekend, maybe. I don't know. Let me know what you what you want to see. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm sure we can throw something together. But I think for today, that is going to be pretty much it. 
So be sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff that popular YouTubers say. And I will catch you in the next vlog.